Can artificial intelligence make ride shares safer? One company thinks so. Let's talk about it. It's Joe time. Oh, it feels so good to be saying that again. Welcome everyone. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time. In this video, we are going to talk about ways to keep ride shares safe. Well, one way, and that's through the use of artificial intelligence. This, admittedly, this isn't a, a U.S. story. This comes out of uh, New Zealand. However, things spread rapidly. And I'd really like to hear your opinions on this one. Rideshare platform Ola, is, and remember that because we're gonna talk about something near the end of the video that relates to this, whether you're familiar with Ola or not. Rideshare platform Ola is using artificial intelligence to help create safety in the rideshare industry. How in the world could artificial intelligence make a ride safer? This actually is going to relate to a video I did about three weeks ago. In that video, a woman was assaulted during her ride share and she was suing the ride share company. I'm sorry, I don't recall if it was Uber or Lyft right now. And her attorney was claiming that they didn't keep good enough, close enough track on that particular ride to keep her safe. And that's exactly what Ola is referring to. So let's dig a little deeper here. The new safety tech feature, Guardian, will be the first of its kind in New Zealand and is set to roll out in all its locations across the country next year. The safety technology uses real-time trip information. Now, that means as it's happening to detect regular activities such as a possible crash, an unusually long stop, or an unexpected deviation from a planned route. I do have questions about this, and some of those I asked in that video, uh, and I'll link it here. I, I didn't go back and review that video, but I'll link it here, and you can all go back and watch that. Ola's 24-7 safety response team is alerted, and they contact both riders and drivers to confirm they're safe and offer any assistance they might need. Well, how exactly does it do this? How does it know when you're in trouble and when it should contact its SRT, safety response team. Because Guardian is an intelligent product built using machine learning, it's able to continuously improve its ability to predict risk signals as it keeps collecting data over time. All right, so what's going to happen? As it says here, irregular activities, possible crashes, unusually long stops, deviations from planned routes. When it senses that, it's going to send information, there's going to be a follow-up. Follow-up's gonna take the form of either, send, well, not either, both, sending a message to the driver and the passenger. I'm going to assume if it doesn't hear back, I don't know what action it takes. Is it gonna call police? Is it going to try to make a, a human phone call at that point? I have to assume that the initial contact is not going to, this you know, safety response team is not going to be a human being. That would just take too much manpower. I assume what's going to happen is they are going to send out an automated message that says, is everything okay? And then everyone can send back, yes, yes. I, I have some questions about that, okay. But let's say they don't get a positive response. Maybe they send out a second message. Maybe they contact law enforcement. Um, I have some thoughts on all this. First of all, let's say that my initial assumption is correct that they are going to send out an automated response, which is very likely. Why do I say it's very likely? At any given time, there could be tens of thousands of rides going on. Now, maybe in New Zealand that's not true. In the U.S., it certainly would be true. So, let's say that there is an assault or a robbery or something taking place, right? They send out that message. I'm thinking the bad guy is probably just going to push, take the phone from the person and push. No, everything's great. That is my initial problem I see. I'm not trying to be a negative Nelly, but I do see that as an initial problem. The other thing I see, if there is unusual driving activity due to natural situations that we encounter as drivers, for example, there is um, a crash, there is for some reason traffic's being rerouted, um, whatever the case may be, and I'm trying to negotiate this hazard and now I'm being distracted by messages. Is that going to create 
its own safety hazard? I, I don't have an answer, but th that's some things that, uh, that I wonder about. Once Live Guardian will add an unparalleled layer of safety and security to Ola Rides. It will build on the platform's existing array of security measures such as the in-app emergency button. All right, everybody else has an in-app emergency button, right? You all see it on your, it's, it's a driver option and a rider option. And start code feature which sends riders a unique four digit passcode and booking their ride to ensure they're paired with the right driver. We also have that in other ride share. I know a lot of people don't use it. I turned it on once to do a video of it as a passenger. Almost every single driver that I get in the car with says hardly anybody uses that. Uh, let me know down below. What is the percentage of the riders that actually use that passcode option? I, I don't want to get off track and get onto another subject here. But if people that are in, you know, a rational state of mind, sober, don't use it, what's the likelihood they're going to think, oh, I'm really drunk. I might make a mistake and get the wrong car. I better turn this feature on. What's the likelihood someone's going to have that processing and that awareness? If they have that awareness, they're probably not going to get in the car in the first place. Anyway, I digress. As part, now, this next one I really like. As part of its commitment to the New Zealand market, Ola has removed the service fee for Auckland drivers for the rest of the year, enabling them to take home 100% of the trip fare after what's been a tough year for the industry. God bless them. Can you imagine that if Uber would remove the booking fee? I don't know how it can make money. Like I. I guess it's just a booking fee. They're still going to take a percentage. I don't know how, how Ola works, but they're taking away that booking fee. 100% of the trip fare. That's great. Ola's New Zealand's fastest growing ride share app operating in 14 locations, including Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, is it Christchurch or Christchurch, Queenstown, and Taranga. Ola delivers a better value to passengers, and listen to this, a better deal to drivers who take home more from every trip. Now, this sounds, of course, like a press release, so I don't know if the reporter or the press release receiver, which might be more accurate, has fact-checked that. But I'll tell you, if they are waiving service fees, now there's only a month and a half, not even a month, one month left in the year, take that money. Take that money if you're in New Zealand. I... Um, I'm kind of hoping a company like that that's already established, not a startup, but a company that's already established has a better chance of getting a foothold and come on over. Um, I would, maybe they're here. I don't know. I've never heard of it in my market, certainly. But wouldn't it be wonderful if you get a company that really was committed to paying drivers more and you know would instill safety features? Are the safety features good? Are they reasonable? Would they work? Would they just be a distraction and a bother? Or would they be effective? I'd love to hear what you have to say down below. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, it, it means so much to me when, when you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon. So many times people say, Mark, I didn't know you're going live. The way you find out is by ringing the bell icon and that way you can get noticed. Notif notified. In that way, you can get notified. Well, thanks for being here, everyone. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time, and it's Joe time.